Hi everybody. It's kind of a gloomy, unpleasant day out, and uh, it's been a while since I talked to you folks. Um, this is not really a question and answer video because I was not asked any questions that I'm aware of, because I missed some. So this is more of an announcement video. And what you may ask, is that announcement? Well, we are today, uh, officially, this is what we'll call a cover reveal. This is the cover reveal for Ickerwell, and here's the cover. Uh, as always, the art on this is by Nick Delagaris. He has done the art for almost every cover I've ever made. Uh, featured here are, well, a number of things which are plot relevant, and you'll have to read the book to figure out what they are. And when will this book come out? Well, this is also an announcement uh, of the pre-order availability of Ickerwell. Ickerwell will be coming out on July 14th, but as of today, you can pre-order it on iBooks, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and Google Play. You'll note, missing from that list is Amazon. I won't be putting out up for pre-order on Amazon until probably about two weeks before it's available, because for complicated reasons, it's not that useful to have a long pre-order on Amazon. At least if you're me, it's not that useful. If you're Stephen King, it's probably profoundly useful. A couple other things, I've got some nice artwork related to this release. Uh, here is a picture of uh, Amanita Grouse, our, our heroine, by Spooky Chan, who is an artist that I've worked with in the past. She drew this excellent picture of Turiel and Mott. I met her at New York Comic Con. I'm hoping to meet her again at the next New York Comic Con. Which brings this to mind. I will be attending New York Comic Con. So if you also are attending New York Comic Con, which is in the beginning of October, uh, let me know. We'll, we'll uh, arrange a meeting. I, as usual, will not have a booth because, again, probably works out really well for someone like Stephen King, but for someone like Joe Lalo, just doesn't pay to have a booth. But last year what we did was I uh, picked a spot in the Artist's Alley and hung around there for a meet and greet for about two hours or an hour. I met a bunch of great fans, so I would greatly like to do so again. Now, um, back to this picture. And for good measure, this picture, which is by Rowan Woodcock. Um, these depict... Amanita Grouse, arguably the main character, it's sort of an ensemble cast, but she's probably the at least the pivot upon which the story rotates. And uh, it was recently pointed out to me, I don't make a big deal about, or any deal about, the fact that she is um, not your typical heroine, right? Um, well, she's an engineer, but that shouldn't matter. Well, engineer. She, yeah, she's an engineer. Um, she's a free wrench, specifically, hence the name of the, the book. But uh, she is, I can't use the phrase African-American because she exists in a world that has neither an Africa nor an America. So we'll call her a person of color, a, a female person of color. And I was told by my fan on, uh, on Twitter that that is a, something that I should really advertise a bit more because uh, it might be considered a, a selling point for a certain type of reader. Uh, and uh, I suppose that's true, but I didn't make the character choice for that reason. So, uh, you know, if if you didn't know, now you know. If you're interested, the reason uh, Amanita looks the way she looks uh, and is who she is is because I had a fan who had asked if I would be creating any characters that she could cosplay as. And... Uh, I said, why not, and made sure that the next character I created, which was for NaNoWriMo several years ago, would be an appropriate costume choice. Uh, moving on. Figurine update. I have sold zero figurines. Uh, I didn't expect to sell any figurines. I, I did it because I wanted to see how they would come out, and because I wanted to at least give people the option to buy something that was in my cabinet, since I so often... Uh, taunt you people with my awesome things. I've got another thing that, that I, I sent to the 3D printer, and uh, depending on how they come out, I might make that available for sale too. Again, I got I made it for me, uh, but as long as it's available at a 3D printing place, you can make you know you can make it too. I have a dog guest right now. If you're interested, looks like this. 
If you end up reading about a golden retriever in any of my stories, this is probably why. I think that's about it. So, uh, again, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments or send me an email at jrlallo at bookofdeacon.com and uh, I will answer them, perhaps in a video. Uh, until then, thanks for reading.